decided to let everyone know that it really did quite a lot along with the fiscal policy uh, impulses during the early part of this year, this spring and the summer when the Treasury put out a massive amount of stimulus and the Fed itself went in very big uh, to try to calm financial markets and provide the liquidity if the economy needed. So essentially the strategy early on was to provide relief to where the, sec the sectors of the economy were shut down because of the virus and going forward to make sure that there was sufficient uh, support for the economy in order to, to live through the period of shutdown so that we can come out at the other end with a very strong rebound, which we're already starting to see. So Chair Powell actually is telling us that the economy is doing well. The markets are telling us they're looking forward. Uh, we think that policy will be uh, supportive of an economic recovery. And I think one of the things that Chair Powell wanted to assure the markets was that the Fed stood ready to do more if needed. So then what more should or could they be doing, especially as we don't know how long this pandemic is going to go on for? Great question. You know, all of us economists are debating how it is that the Fed can do more when the shutdown and the virus has blown huge holes in the economy and just locked up the parts of the economy that usually would receive a lot of the support from monetary policy through it, the usual transmission mechanism of lower interest rates. So what Chair Powell has reminded us of is that the, the tactics that the Fed has taken is to go out and actually buy uh, corporate bonds, municipal bonds, and become an active player in the financial markets to provide the kind of liquidity and support that companies need to tide them over this period of, of shutdown. The whole, though, is left with small and medium-sized businesses, which have depended on banks to get their funding. And the banks, unfortunately, have not done well in distributing money to the companies that need it. Instead, they've been distributing money needed. Right. So then in terms of the domino effect, then what additional risks does the pandemic pose for the economy as it continues to linger and with a stalled stimulus package in Congress? Yeah, going forward, the sectors that are certainly most vulnerable are going to be the, the restaurants, the entertainment, the, the people to people facing businesses, this, uh, the, the services sector. The manufacturing sector, like it is in China and around the world, is starting to revive because it's easier to put the machines back to work than it is to get people back to work. So what the, the, the policy was supposed to do with fiscal policy is to support those sectors, those retail sectors, the restaurants that are being hurt and the laid off workers to provide them with support. So far, the fiscal impasse has prevented the economy from getting that kind of support, and that's been the, the source of a lot of, uh, of, of uncertainty and, and hardship unnecessarily because of the political rancoring that's been going on up through now. So what indicators, both domestic and foreign, is the Fed keeping an eye on in determining its next policy moves? I think the Fed is going to be looking very carefully at the employment numbers. We see a lot of success in the sense that the, the unemployment rate blew out to double digits and has now dropped down to below 8%. And going forward, the Fed expects the unemployment rate to go down to about 7.5% by the end of this year. With that trajectory, the economy actually is starting to revive and that the Fed would be very satisfied with that. If the unemployment rate deviates from that path and we start to see a, 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 sh a shot up in the unemployment rate somewhere into the double digits again, then the Fed are going to have to move in much more aggressively. And, and by then, fiscal policy would have to move and we would have to have a stimulus package well north of two to three trillion dollars. And as we look at the Fed chair himself, how might Jerome Powell's future differ under a second Trump term versus a brand new Biden administration? I think the administrations would treat the, the problem in a very similar way because the diagnosis is the same. It's the service sectors and retailers that are being hurt. It's the, the, the small and medium-sized businesses and people who work for them who are being shut down. And, and until the virus is under control, money has to be funneled to those businesses. And so what the, the Fed is going to have to do under either a Trump or a Biden administration is to funnel money, not so much toss out uh, into, the, into the general financial markets. Funnel it to the businesses that are in need and the people who are in need. All right, thank you.